We're out here trying to catch up with Coach T. Normally, there's this afternoon walk out here before every game. And uh, we know tonight is the big ACC championship game against Miami Hurricanes and the Clemson Tigers. We're trying to find Coach T. Normally, he's out here. We just want to catch up with him and ask him how does he feel his first year in Miami, able to get the team ranked inside the top 25 and um, able to have a chance for a shot at the ACC title. How does he feel and where do you think the program is going? Is it on the up and up or uh, are they still kind of a mediocre team? Oh, here he goes right here. Here you go. Coach T, Coach T. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, what are your feelings about the game tonight? Uh, well, I was just trying to do my walk. But uh, I, mean, I can give you a little, a little insight, uh, some of my thoughts. Well, this Miami, I mean, well, with Miami, now that I'm here, I mean, I've, I've been wanting to be at Miami for so long. This is like a dream come true for me to be able to coach at the U. And uh, to make it here for my first year to the ACC championship game is, I mean, it's, it's a goal that I always wanted to accomplish. It's not a dream come true. A dream come true would be winning the national title and having number one uh, recruiting class. But uh, that's that's my goals down the line. But as of right now, I'm looking forward to going into this game against CP3. And um, I mean, I know it's going to be a tough game because uh, he has a, a passing game that's just going to be very difficult to stop. He has some great receivers, a great quarterback, and uh, and one of our top corners is hurt right now. That's, that's going to hurt us. It's going to hurt us, but uh, I know Howard, he's going to be with us on the sideline in spirit, but he can't play in this game. Uh, and I, We're going to miss him, but we have a, a freshman, Burns, that we think is going to step up and do some great things. Uh, we kind of wanted to get Burns in more. We had we played him some throughout the year in our nickel package. So he has some kind of game experience. He's not a true freshman like to, to the action on the field because he's had some kind of game experience already. And he's played in the last two games, and he did just fine. So I think he will be able to step in and do, do a great job for us tonight. I know he's going to get tested, but I think he will be up for a challenge. He's a big kid, 6'1", 6'6", uh, six, six, I mean 6'1", six, uh, 6 feet. And uh, he can he can run he can run, uh, but uh, we're gonna you know we're gonna get the ball to Duke as much as we can and try to let him uh, put on the show for the people and when, if Duke has a good day, pretty much uh, I, I think we had a game in the, in the bag. Uh, I, I don't think CP3 linebackers are that good. I, I know his D line is it's one of the top D lines in the nation and his DBs are some of the best DBs in the nation. So. We're going to try to take uh, his DBs and his D-line out of this game and try to get the ball to Duke as much as possible and try to pair him up against some of the linebackers. And they just try to have success in the middle of the field and work the, work the linebackers because, like I say, I, I don't think his, his, his linebacking core is uh, one of the top in the nation. And that's what we're going to try to do. I know CP3, CP3 is looking forward to this game. I don't know why. I don't know why he's looking forward to it because it's not going to be good for him. It's not going to be good for him. Uh, you know, all pro days, we just, I used to spank him pretty good. And, he, and, he, and one day he got good, all pro, and he started to try to turn the tide on me. And uh, I guess he's trying to come over here to NCAA and do the same thing. But uh, I will see tonight. Game time, 10 o'clock. Hope you're there, son. Coach C, Coach, Coach, no, no more questions. No more questions.